Hello, welcome to the latest installment of New Arrivals at Princeton Record Exchange. It is a late August 2013 day, and today... Today we're featuring a small but interesting collection of about 50 audiophile quality reissues and box sets. Uh, you guys are probably familiar by now with Mobile Fidelity original master recordings, all done half speed. We've got a nice one I haven't seen often, uh, Rush, Anadis 200 series, uh, Cars, also Anadis 200, a very low number, 539 on that one. Cisco's another brand out there that's been doing it for a while. This is the 30th anniversary, again 180 gram of Steely Dan's Asia, pretty sought after. Uh, DCC. DCC Compact Classics, very looked for, uh, definitely escalating in value. Um, also 180 gram, they use Virgin Vinyl, uh, all numbered as you can see. Nice Elvis 24 karat hits. Acoustic, another smaller uh, but uh, well regarded audiophile label out there. And Classic Records, I really wanted to talk about. They've been doing reissues, quality reissues for, oh, I don't know, at least six or seven years now. Uh, they've gone from 180 gram to 200 gram. Uh, and what I'm finding is, you know, I really think this is kind of the trend of the future. More and more quality reissues have been being made over the years, and we're going to start buying them back and selling them again. It's, it's an interesting thing to look for. Uh, I never thought that I'd be using a uh, postal scale to help me determine pricing, but in this case, uh, some of the classic records are 200 gram and some are 180, and that does make a difference in price. Uh, the 200 gram are coming in at 7.14 ounces. Uh, this ZZ Top is a 200 gram. Uh, I don't think it's even a scale there, but uh, it's kind of silly to be using that, but it helps me in the pricing. Uh, these Led Zeppelins, um, we have self-titled, two, uh, four, or Zoso and uh, physical graffiti, all very rare, out of print for quite a few years, now going for pretty substantial bucks. We've never seen these in the store before. Uh, very nice. This, uh, the first one was a 180 gram, about $60. We have a 200 gram Zeppelin II at 80, uh, the uh, Zeppelin IV. Uh, this is also a Quiex. Uh, super vinyl profile. Uh, they're deluxe deluxe of the deluxes packaging, as is the physical graffiti as well. And then we have some other just uh, some 180 grams, some not. Uh, but again, the, the trends of the future uh, with these reissues or very limited edition vinyls coming out. Uh, we also have a nice uh, Japanese mono with the Beatles. Um, but basically, you know, titles that were have been reissued uh, over the years uh, are probably mostly out of print, but some are in. Uh, very nice quality. The vinyl sounds great. Uh, nice way to get some of the classics that you might not have in your collection or if you're looking to uh, upgrade from those cheesy 80s pressings, a uh, nice way to go. And with this collection came a really nice assortment of box sets. Uh, we have never seen this Hendrix Classic Singles Collection Volume 2, very limited. We see Volume 1 from time to time. Uh, this one, uh, 483 out of only 1,000 made. Pleasure to have in the store. We have 10 7 inch singles in the box. Uh, again, a classic records, 200 grand issue, uh, Voodoo Child, very nice collection of Hendrix. Uh, Pink Floyd, Best of, Echoes, very rare issue on four LP set on vinyl. Uh, Zeppelin Mothership, Best of, four LP set, very nice. Uh, some of the later Clapton records uh, compiled together, Clapton Blues. Uh, from a slightly earlier era, uh, another Clapton set, uh, 12 records uh, in this case. Very nice, get them all in one shot. Uh, Who Faces, my wife's favorite. Uh, always nice to see. Uh, we have an 11 set here. All the classics, my generation, quick one, sell out, Tommy, a lot of leads, Quadrophenia, Who, a uh, very nice way to get it all at once. Limited edition, import set. Uh, my favorite of the bunch, uh, my all-time favorite, Rolling Stones record, uh, Exile on Main Street. I know have some argument there. Uh, but this set, uh, really with loving care. We've got two LPs, uh, two CDs, one's playing at the moment, uh, a DVD of live performances. Uh, we've got some reissued cards here. Just a really beautiful pack. 64-page book. Story of beautiful pictures. Uh, for someone like me, who it's one of my all-time favorite records, uh, hint, hint for Christmas, nice gift for me, Cindy. 
Um, we also have this wonderful Beatles collection box uh, from a slightly earlier era from most of the other items here. This is uh, early 80s, probably 81, 82, something like that. Uh, import collection out of the UK, all of the original 12 UK issues. Uh, in their UK release, not US release, uh, as well as uh, the Beatles rarities. A really nice, we do not see this box very often. It got broken up through the years because for a long time you could make more money selling the records individually. Uh, so to have this box uh, with the records in excellent mint condition, uh, we are asking 300 bucks, but fairly reasonable for today's going rate. Uh, really a, a very nice, nice set, a nice way to get all the Beatles in one shot. Uh, so that's about it. Um, just again, we thought it was interesting because it is sort of speaking of the trends of the future. I'm sure we'll be seeing more of these box sets and more of these wonderful uh, 180 gram uh, reissues and other ones coming in the store. Uh, we hope you get a chance to visit us this weekend uh, or sometime soon at Princeton Record Exchange in Princeton, New Jersey.